Well, we got a couple more today. Yeah. Standing in front of the Bullet Distillery. Which I don't know anything about. No? No. It's a new name for me. Okay. That's good whiskey. I've only learned it existed the past couple weeks. And we have another tasting <laughs> for Leslie. She requested another tasting. <laughs> she can't know. get enough. I can't get enough tastings. <laughs> Yeah. Are you gonna be a good sport today? Are you gonna taste some more whiskey? I'm a sport. I'm a team player. Yeah. Oh, here's the inside. As soon as you walk into the bullet, and there's barrels everywhere. Look at people have signed them too, so you can autograph the barrels. Not a barrel house, but it has that feel in here. Well, we just started the tour, and as we came into the campus, we saw the retention pond, and that's where they draw all their water here at Bullet to make all their bourbon. But it's not just in that pond; they draw that from the water source here in Shelbyville. And then this is the first tour that we've been on that showed us the milling of the corn, the rye, and the barley. So it starts as like full kernels or full grains, and they mill it down to like a very fine powder for the distillation process. There's the good stuff right there. There's the pure stuff right before it goes into barrels. So it comes out clear. Once it goes into barrels and ages, that's where it gets its color. Right now it's pretty much moonshine flowing through there. This is the fermentation room. Each one of these is 20,000 gallons. And this is where they will add the yeast and let the bourbon ferment. When the high wine comes out, the high wine is that clear liquid that looks like moonshine. It comes out at 135 proof. But bourbon has to be barreled at 125 proof, so they have to proof that down with a little bit of water before they barrel it. Then they'll put it in their barrels. It has to be in a new barrel every time. That's bourbon standard. And then so when it goes in there, after it's charred, the heat from when the barrels are sitting in the barrel houses expands and contracts, expands and contracts. And so it pulls that, that bourbon into the wood, pushes it back out, pulls it in, pushes it back out. So that chard is what pulls that clear liquid in, pushes it back out brown. And it does that. And they're aged for, you know, six, seven years, sometimes up to 10 years here at Bull. They have a 10 year aged. So just imagine that, expanding and tracking for 10 years, so 10 years worth of flavor as, as it pumps in and out of those barrels. Hey, we're just in time for a corn delivery too. The corn truck just pulled in here and he's pumping his corn into these silos. It'll go into there to be milled to a fine powder and that's what they'll use for their distillation process. All right, we're getting ready to do our tasting. Are you ready? No. <laughs> I'm not. Their tasting is a little different because they have these little orbs that have like different scents in them. So what you do is, you smell this, you sip a little of the whiskey, and you smell it again. It changes the flavor profile of what you're drinking. It's very cool. Sniff, sip, sniff. Smell it, smell it, smell it, now take it. Now smell it again. No, oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh. Well, which one was your favorite? Okay, I didn't like any of them. Okay. But. If you had to pick one. If I had to pick one, it was the third one, which was the rye. Oh, you're a rye girl. <laughs> that one to me was the less intense on my nose. Yeah. Like it didn't burn my nose hairs nearly as much as everything else does. And Leslie's technique was just to shake the shit out, out of the little orbs, smelly thing. The smelly orb is that real. Did it work? No, it's still the taste. I knew it wouldn't work. But it was a great smell before that. I want to talk about the barrels real fast. Okay. Because they only use the barrels once oh, yeah. for bourbon. But the barrels don't die. No, they they live, get reused. They live for 80 years. And they travel. They're well traveled. So some of them get shipped to Ireland mm -hmm. to age Johnny Walker. Some of them get then shipped. They go to after there, they go to Mexico, Mexico to age Don, Don Julio. And then from there, they go to the Caribbean yeah. to age Captain Morgan rum. Rum. Yeah. yeah. I thought that so, was really cool. Very, very cool that bullet and barrels get used for all those different kinds of liquors. Yeah. yeah. And they're repurposed. It's saving. Very cool. Yeah. We got a, a custom label. Orange It says label. Dustin and Leslie on top. And then it says Wayward Wags in the middle. And then the Wagster like, Meetup 2022. Yeah. So yeah. very cool. Yeah. So I'm still going to drink this. It's not going to be like safe for special occasion. I'm going to no, drink we'll it. Just... But then when I drink it, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get like the little string lights. Little fairy lights. And, and put, put it inside. In. And so we'll have like a decorative lit bottle with our custom label on it. And it'll be our little memento from the Wagster Meetup. Yeah, it'll be very cool. <laughs> well, now we're at Buffalo Trace. We're not doing any tours or anything here, but we are going to go into the shop and do a little shopping. Hopefully they got some good stuff here. Well, I think Buffalo Trace so far has the biggest and most impressive 
gift shop. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. And by the way, if you're a military, uh, you get 20% off just stuff, not liquor. No, no discount on liquor. Also here at Buffalo Trace, they have like hard to find bottles and for way cheaper than you'll find them in a store. And they feature different ones on every day. Um, our buddy Jim came yesterday and got a bottle of Blanton's, and today uh, they have some Wellers on the on the shelf. It's it's good that they have that, but it causes a huge, huge line, and people line up for hours to get these great bottle prices. Um, and it's limit one bottle per person per day. See, Leslie makes you makes you believe she doesn't like whiskey, and look, she double fist and bags out of Buffalo Trace. Like I ain't got nothing. I got my phone in one hand, nothing in the other. She's got a bunch of whiskey, huh? I'm carrying the You secretly love it. <laughs> Look, I wasn't gonna do a tasting at Buffalo Trace, but Jerry's gonna make me do it. I'm an enabler. Yeah, it's peer pressure. Hey, you, you, first of all, you only live once. That's right. It's the last week that we're gonna be in Kentucky for. That's true. As they say, a while. A while. So, and we're here. So you might as well do we it. We walked all the way up those stairs. We <laughs> earned it. We're committed now. <laughs> There's the Motley crew. <laughs> they just finished their tasting. And now it's our turn. This was, uh, this what Leslie had been waiting for, the vodka. It's got an It's weird to say with vodka, right? It's got an interesting it's better than bourbon. That's it's really smooth. smooth. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> better than bourbon. Better than bourbon. Yeah. yeah. She barely even made a face. <laughs> All right, Leslie's going to try a bourbon cream for the very first time ever. Seriously? Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? Wow. There's nothing, there's no bite. She doesn't drink. I'm, oh, I'm on the, I'm on, oh, I'm on the So now, you got to add. That was a wild turn. You got to add the root beer. <laughs> add the root beer to it and then drink it. I ain't going to lie, my eye watered just a little bit. I was not expecting it. Root beer and yeah, bourbon cream. This is fabulous. We're going to go get a bottle of that. That's That's Mo Gooder. That's good? That's Mo Gooder. That's really good. Okay, yeah. It, uh, by itself, no. No. In a root beer, absolutely. You know, as we've been going through these uh, distilleries and these tours, you might wonder why some of the buildings and some of the trees are black. Uh, the reason why is there's a fungus that attaches itself to the vapors as the alcohol evaporates. And then it sticks to everything. So this building looks like it, it might have been burnt. Just like all the barrel houses, the barrel house down there and all the trees, the tree trunks, they're all black. That's from that fungus. Another fun fact is that, uh, and they told us this at the Bullet Distillery, is that in Kentucky, there are over 11 million barrels of bourbon being aged at any given time. That is more than the population of people and horses combined in Kentucky. Oh, quite the haul today at Buffalo Trace. Yes, an un unexpected haul. We didn't expect to get really anything from them. Well, I, I went after the bourbon Bur cream. The bourbon cream. That was, was the only thing yeah. I had planned to get. Yeah. And then they had this old-fashioned mix. So I was like, well, it's only a few dollars. I'll grab that too. And then um, ice maker. We went upstairs to see if everybody was done with their tasting because we yeah. weren't going to do a tasting, and. Uh, we ended up doing the we ended tasting. Ended up doing the tasting. <laughs> <laughs> well, then after t the tasting, um, th I liked it all. You did. You you liked everything we tasted. Yeah. So I grabbed uh, a bottle of the Buffalo Trace too. And the Weller. And Wellers. But the grounds out there are beautiful too at Buffalo Very Trace. Very nice. Yeah. Huge barrel houses. They got a ton of barrel houses. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it was. For me, anyway, I, I thought it was the most impressive gift shop or yes. shopping area out of all the distilleries we've yeah. gone to so far. Yeah, they did. Lots of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And um, and I don't tell them what they're going to have tomorrow. They change whiskeys every day okay. on yeah. what their specialty they bring out. So Yeah. Anyway, it's and then on the way home, we stopped and had dinner. Yes. At Claudia. Claudia Sanders Claudia Dinner Sanders. House. Colonel Sanders' mom. Yeah. Cooked his dinner, y'all. <laughs> no, it, well, it's her recipes. It's her, yeah. 
So if you can imagine Colonel Sanders, how good his chicken was, and it's never as good as mom's. So it had to be good. So, yeah, it was good. It was a very good dinner. I had the fried chicken wings. Yes. I did a pot roast. And she did a pot it roast. Was but it was home cooking, good yeah. sides, and good friends. Yes, great conversation. Nice to hang out with yeah. everybody. So that's it's a what great we're gonna, day. We're going to go do that some more. We're going to go hang out. We're now gonna everyone's going to bring what they bought, and we're all going to share. Yeah. Because everybody bought a bunch of different stuff today, so it's cool. We put a table out, everybody put their booze out. And I think every single person loved the bourbon cream. I think everybody, everybody bought, bourbon bought a bourbon cream. Yeah. yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.